Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris, and I'm playing Space Engineers today. As you can see, I'm currently humping the ground furiously. Yes, um, Space Engineers here, that I'm the game which I'm playing, is um, it's a game in alpha or beta. I'm not really sure which, um, but it's sort of like I think you would probably call it like Minecraft in space or something. Maybe. I mean, it has a lot more complexity to it. It has gravity, it has physics, um, destruction as well, voxel based destruction. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I wanted to show you something that I've spent, I think, maybe six, seven, eight hours building. And yes, it's not this little thing here. That'll be pretty pathetic, but if you look to my right, you can see, oh, there's a massive shadow here. It's a very peculiar shadow indeed. Hmm. I wonder what's making this massive. Holy shit. Okay. Um. So yeah, this is a massive spaceship that I built. It's not very pretty. Um. But if you have played Halo, you might recognize the design. I did. I did look at a UNC frigate to see. I don't know, frigate? Do you say frigate? Or. No, I don't know. It's pronounced differently in Danish, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's based off of that, but it's. I mean, it's not very pretty, to be honest. Maybe the front, that's probably where I spend most of the time. Just the front here. Um, the back is a lot smaller than it, it's probably supposed to be, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and the back engines are not very pretty. But yeah, I've, I think we're going to take a look at it. And I'll probably, um, if I am able to, I'll probably um, upload it to the Steam Workshop. So people can have some fun with it. So you can see, it is pretty, pretty huge. And um, let me see if I can just stop this thing here. And, uh, well, it's, I think it's, uh, how much was it, 14, 15 thousand um, kilograms. No, not kilograms, tons. So, it's not too heavy, um, but that's because most of it is hollow. Uh, I should probably put in some stuff, but uh, I just haven't done that. I finished building it yesterday, so... I just decided to make this video first. All right, so we'll just get this thing in here and just land it very smoothly. And I think they just um, updated. I think it was Wednesday, maybe. Um, is you see when I go down here, um, the little pads under my vehicle they will now light up. Yeah, like so. So you can see now that. Now they're yellow, so when I press P, they turn green. I'm actually stuck to the spaceship, so I can't lift off or anything. So that's uh, pretty pretty neat. Right, so to get up into our command center, we'll we'll take the ladder. We could we could use a jetpack, but I'll build the ladder, so why not just use lines? that. I might actually, um, let me just zoom out here, I might actually build a second floor to this thing here, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's done yet or, or what, but yeah, I just wanted to showcase this. A little bit to brag about it, I guess, because I've spent so much time on it. But uh, also just to show you what I've been playing. Now I haven't really uploaded anything for a month or two, so this should probably remedy that, remedy that, whatever you might say. Okay, so it it does take a while to use the ladder here. Um, so now we're on a different floor. I can actually just oh sh fuck me, All right? I'll just hover up. Screw screw this. <laughs> um. But I'm a, uh, 
Let me just see if we can get up. Yes, I'm on a different floor here. Uh, this is the back of the spaceship. And I actually named this uh, spaceship uh, Greed Spear. I don't know why. Oh, Solo Born means Green Spear. Green Spear. Um, here you have, so you can look out, and then this is the front. There's nothing inside, so it's not particularly interesting. We have some rooms here. This is one of the side wings. You can also look out there. Uh, same thing over here. They're not um, symmetrical, so this is differently shaped and sized. So, yeah. Let me. Sometimes these ramps can be really, really buggy for some reason. Right. Continue up. Oh, this is, this is the fun bit. Yeah. Going up the ladder. That's what we like. Now the spaceship um, is pretty heavy. I mean, I said it's only, <laughs> only uh, fourteen thousand um, ton, but. Uh, but that's still quite heavy. Um, so, the amount of thrusters I have on it, well, they're not strong enough to carry it very fast. I think the top speed is probably around, I think it's around 5 to 10 meters per second, so that's not all too much. Alright, so we got two control things, mostly just. Um, because it would look strange if there was only one, I think. So yeah. So you can see here, yeah, it's almost 15, um, 15,000 ton. But yeah, you can see we got our little spaceship here. Um, or little space bird or whatever. If you can see into the wide thing here. So that's the hangar area. And then we got the side things, and we got the front. The front is um, just aesthetic, you can't really do anything with it. I might outfit it with some thrusters or weapons. When they <laughs> implement weapons, that would be pretty nice, maybe. But yeah, you can see it's got a, a few thrusters, but that's not too many. It's mostly just, just so you can operate it. So you can see... Um, I'm actually moving forward now. You can see it a little bit if you look at the asteroid to my left. Uh, let's see how fast we can get this thing to go. I have backed up my save, fortunately, so if I do crash this thing... Okay, we're actually going pretty fast now. That's, that's nice. <laughs> my only concern is that we might not be able to slow down. Oh yeah, of course, there's no wind resistance, so we should be able to reach max speed, but maybe just take forever. Right. Let's see if we can slow down here. So now the back thrusters, I've let go, but now the back thrust is actually just working to slow us down. Um, let's see, can we turn this thing here? I don't know. If, yeah, I'm actually turning, but it's very slowly. You can see if I do it compared to this. You see, I'm, I'm turning very little. Um, but it is a massive ship. It is a massive ship. So, yeah. Right. I guess that's probably just what I wanted to show you. I might do another video where I just um, destroy it. Because why not? Right. And, and over here. Do, 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 do. I sort of wish the... The eject pack could go faster. That would be pretty nice. Oh, okay, we're already down. That was fast. Right. So, we just press P to turn this off. Lift off a little bit. Turn the vessel around. Maybe. That was a little bit too much. And then we're out of the hangar. Right, so you can see it is a major thing, and it's why it took me so long to build um, the engines, they should probably be bigger, uh, not very pretty, but I'll, I'll probably leave the link to the two pictures I used to, uh, to, I used for, uh, creating this, 
from, I guess, or draw inspiration from. Although most, much of the inspiration is probably not even drawn from, it's probably just copied. But um, it is a lot harder to follow a pic picture and just uh, make it into a spaceship, I suppose. Than I thought it would be, but um, I've, I've done an attempt, I guess. So yeah, um, this is my this is my massive spaceship. I hope you liked it. I'll see if I can get it up to the Steam uh, the Steam Workshop. If I can, I'll leave a link to that as well in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like. I don't know if I already said that. Maybe I did. Maybe not. Um, and if you want to be notified about future uploads from me, don't forget to subscribe as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let's just look at the front. It is pretty menacing, I would say. It, it's pretty massive. And why there's red things here, I don't know. I thought it sort of fit, fit the sign a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you later.